Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinskluber with audioreviews.org and today we are talking about two cables, both by Nice HDK. They are quite renowned for their good cables. And uh, so we have two cables. One, this one here is the 5N UPOCC copper cable. 5N stands for the degree of purity. Um, it means 99.999% pure copper. UP is ultimate purity and OCC stands for Ono Continuous Cast. You can read all the stuff about the, the technology and the, the detailed cable review in the links below, uh, all I want to show you is how what these cables do in four dimensions when you actually use them, how they move, the stiffness and so on. So this is just in support of the written review. So please check these links out underneath. So this is a pure copper cable. It's in the depending on 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 price uh, um, around a hundred dollars. Prices obviously fluctuate, but it's a, it's in the hundred dollar category, so it's a little bit higher up pure copper it's got a lit's internal structure and uh, it has a little bit of microphonics unfortunately it's nylon coated and i in a b-roll i show you a little bit more about it and of course may repeat myself so don't hold it against me please and then the other cable here that's a 20 dollar cable pure silver hard to believe that you get a, a pure silver cable at 20 dollars and this is as you see much much thinner this is a thick very thick very nice uh, cable very light this is very thin and uh, both of these I have attached the TRI i3 earphone actually this one works very well together TRI i3 earphone and this cable that's my go-to combination $20 can't go wrong so this is a 4N Litz cable 4N means 999 nine percent so there is one decimal less that's four and six and would be 99.999 percent but here five and here six and then both have a lids structure and lids means it's an internal structure it's an internal you can read about it again it's in the links and it um, optimizes conductivity and uh, it prevents corrosion okay this is the nice hdk upocc copper cable which as you see is nylon coated and attached to it is the TRI i3 magnetic planner earphone. Earphone it's optically a very good combination here you see this big connector you see that the the memory wire is pretty thick and uh, it distributes the weight nicely around the ear. In fact, I don't even feel it and it's not too stiff. In fact, it's, it's just fine. And here I've got the nylon cable. Let's go along. What I like about this is everything is cylindrical. It's very, very simple shapes. Look at this. This is the uh, splitter and this is the um, chin slider. Works very nicely. And here you see this thick cable. It's thick and it's uh, very light it's very light it's thick and light and it's eh, it's pliable enough but it has some microphonics it has a noise uh, transmission um, um, around my cheeks and around my beard so that's unfortunate but it's not that bad let's go along here and here we go to this really nice and sturdy uh, connector plug I'm um, gold plated again you can get this in 3.5 2.5 millimeters and in 4.4 balance to get it in all forms and shapes and flavors and here is a very sturdy connector and again this is MMCX and you also get it as a two pin and all the other um, usual um, suspects. This is the nice HDK 4N Litz pure silver cable attached to it is the TRI i3 earphone. The cable itself is coated with uh, PVC 
and you see it's very very pliable it's very very thin it's got a chin slider and let's have a look here there's two strands here is the connector it uh, worked actually nice and snug with everything I try to plug it in and here you see how it uh, is connected to the TRI i3 earphone you see that this memory wire is not that stiff it's okay it was pretty comfortable it's pretty thin let's just go along the cable again that's 1.2 meters here is the splitter is the cable and uh, this is the connector straight plug here it's 3.5 millimeter you can also get 2.5 millimeter and 4.4 millimeter for balanced and similarly you can get the whole fare here you can get uh, that's MMCX you can get uh, two pin and you get whatever you can just read it in the written review which is just below, a uh, link to it is below this video. The special thing about this cable is that it's pure silver and uh, it's relatively cheap, $20. Hard to believe that it's pure silver, but uh, pure silver can work for some earphones and it doesn't work for others. It's a bit of a hit and miss. And it's always good to have one in the box. Okay, let's talk about tonality and I tell you right away, I'm not a charlatan. I don't tell you that this cable uh, is mid-centric and this cable is bassy because that can never be universally true. Cables do different things to different earphones or they do nothing at all. So this, this earphone may work better with this one or better with that one or it may make no difference. It really just depends on the combination. It depends on impedance and all, all sort of stuff. And uh, to give generic statements uh, would just not be honest. Um, also, in my opinion, um, price doesn't matter, it's the material that matters, and the copper, uh, I uh, had some uh, cases where copper calmed down slightly shouty earphones. Again, it didn't work all the time, but it worked in some cases, and if you've got mellow earphones like this, the silver puts a little bit of life in it. This is just a hypothesis, it needs to be tested for each earphone, and it's not universally valid. So in summary, we had these two nice HDK earphones, one for $20, one for about $100. You find a purchase link underneath. And if you liked what you saw, and if you think it saves you money, then please uh, please push the PayPal button, PayPal button, I still can't pronounce it, the PayPal button, and give us a small donation. But in any case, please subscribe to our channel. We really want to grow. Subscribe to our channel. There is more stuff to come in the near future and push the little bell if you want to get sent notifications. That's it for today. My name is Dr. Schweinsgruber and I'm in Calgary. Auf Wiedersehen.